All right, y'all, man, last video of the night, bro. College football, insanity, bro, insanity, man. It was so much fun to watch today. Today has been hectic, breaking news reports, so much going on, man. But let's talk about it, man. Gotta love the sport, absolute chaos, bro. Like, when you look at everything that happened today, man, and it could have been more upsets, right? Utah could have beat Iowa State. That was on the brim of happening. You know what I'm saying? You had a ranked matchup win. I know they were favored, but Arizona State beating BYU, who was 9-1 undefeated before losing to Kansas the week before. You know what I'm saying? You had that matchup. Um, that 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 um, that was kind of an upset to me still. I know. I mean, I know they were favored, but it still was an upset. But then look at this right here. Oklahoma beat Alabama? Bruh, I was like watching this game, and it was just like offensively. They had him in check, bro. It was creating pressure. Like, the offensive line, they had no answers in this game at all. None. Cameron Pritchard was getting cooked. And it's not even like this is an elite defensive line for Texas. I mean, excuse me, for, for Oklahoma. Like, not even elite. Man, it was hitting the crap out of uh, out of Jalen Milrow, man. Now, he didn't play no good game, man. He was very inefficient. Three interceptions on the day. Uh, but so much pressure. It's only so much you can do, man. And I felt like... Bama got away from the running game a little bit. Now, obviously, I know, um, you know, Oklahoma was playing a good game. It was geared to shut that down, obviously, and play more in the box. But got to find way to, ways to be uh, more innovative. I will say this on Alabama's behalf. Y'all did get raw potentially, possibly of even a comeback with that, that, that BS play or BS penalty they called, obviously, um, on the receiver on the Ryan Williams touchdown. Y'all robbed us of an incredible play by the true freshman. Just don't understand it. But nonetheless, man. Got absolutely whooped 24-3. No answers defensively. No answers offensively. Oof. Rough one for Bama, man. But, hey, y'all got a new coach. It's a new era. Y'all got to let the man get adjusted. It's just his first year, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be like how it was in the same era. And even he didn't win all the time. And when I say not win all the time, I'm saying he didn't win college football um, championships every single year. Like, it did not happen. You're delusional if you're going to say he won a college football championship every year. He didn't. He won more like, more often than not. But he didn't win. Insane game. All right, next up, I watched this one too. Florida Ole Miss. Hey, bro, what did I tell y'all about DJ Lagway? I'm telling y'all, he is the next star in the sport. Like, I don't see that lightly, bro. Like, I'm telling y'all, wait till when the game slows down for him. He is going to be red tea, right? And I really think this Florida team, you throw Florida in that, in that, in that scenario, and you throw South Carolina. They both are having great ends to the season. South Carolina's popped their fifth consecutive victory. I know it wasn't against a good team. I think it was Wofford or somebody they played. But they've beaten good teams, too. Florida back-to-back -back upset wins this week, man. Or, back, uh, or the past two weeks, right? Beating LSU and then obviously beating Ole Miss. They looked good. They was running the ball with Montreal Johnson. Jaden Ball was giving them some rushes. DJ Lagway making some great throws under pressure. Florida going to be just fine. Like I said, it comes to the recruiting and the transfer portal. But a massive win uh, for them over Ole Miss. Like I said, I think ending their potential chance into the college football playoff. Jackson Dart, two interceptions. First multi-interception game in over two seasons. Just can't have it. And that's what we said about Jackson Dart. Just can't have it. Got to be better. But, man, Florida, whew, next year, they're going to be a team to watch. I'm going to tell you that. All right, obviously, the other one, Auburn beating Texas A&M. Auburn's been my sleeper. Um, but like I said, they got to figure out the quarterback situation. No disrespect to Peyton Thorne, but they got the receiving core to be elite. Now, it's going to be interesting to see kind of their running back room. Obviously, I know they got some great freshmen coming in um, for this class uh, as far as the running back, a really dynamic one. I think they flipped Alvin Henderson from Penn State, keeping him home. He's from Bama, setting records in the state of Alabama, over 10,000 rushing yards. Y'all got that coming in line. My goodness, Lord. Him? With that receiving call, with a Cam Coleman, with a Malcolm Simmons, and whoever else you get. And also got uh, Sam Turner. We'll see if he gets playing time in year one. Lord, good luck for a defense. Then you got Deuce Knight coming in the 2025 class. Bro, you going to be good. You know what I'm saying? So Auburn is just right there. They got to clean up the middle errors and mistakes. But to be able to beat Texas A&M, that was a huge win. I know they don't got Le'Veon Moss anymore. I know they depend on Mark Daniels. But nonetheless, that was a very impressive win, uh, you know, the, the penalties were not great either. Got to work on that. And, and the refs didn't really help y'all. But a massive, massive win um, for Auburn being in Texas A&M at home, man. Storming the field. Absolute chaos, man. So shout out to them for that big win. 
All right, and then the other one, Kansas beating Colorado, man. I mean, yo, they just did not have an answer for this dude right here, man. It's Ted Neal. Woof. Lord, like, and it was like, you know, Kansas was taking this personal. Like, it was coming at Travis. Now, when I say coming at Travis, I'm not talking about on the field. I'm talking like social media, Kobe Bryant. Like, they wanted this game. They wanted to play Colorado. Like, they was dead serious. And like I said, that's a third-ranked AP win. Cannot beat that, man. I mean, they're playing some great football. And it goes to show you, man, being able to win those close games, you know what I'm saying, early on in the season, it goes a long way because we could be having a different conversation. Kansas could potentially be in this Big 12 pitcher if they could pull off a couple of those wins, right? But move to three or four, I think it is, in the conference so far. One more game coming up to get to the eight conference game. Um, but they play some really good football. 10 0 went for nearly 300 all purpose yards, and he had four touchdowns. No answers for Colorado, man. And like Deion said, the guy intoxicated with success, man. And I love this message to his team. And, and that's what you want out of a head coach. I think he's one of the best coaches in the sport. Y'all say what y'all want. Y'all argue with yourself, argue with your mama. Deion does a great job. He holds his kids, holds his team accountable, and, and makes sure that they give him maximum and full effort, man. And I love that he did that after that game. You know what I'm saying? You got to put in the work. You can't be smelling yourself coming into matchups like this. Because you just never know. I, I just talked about the parody of the sport. It's insane. So you got to come ready every single day with your lunch pail. If not, you're going to get knocked off. We seen it. As my boy Hayes said, the sport don't miss. It really don't. It's one of the best sports um, in, in the country. Now, obviously, you got to figure out some things with legislation and transfer portal and limited scholarships, obviously, for rosters and, and things like that. It's, gonna, it's not going to be some fun conversations, you know, at the end of the year. But... What it's turned into, this sport has, it is very performance-based. If you're not performing at a high level, the team can get rid of you. They're paying you now. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it pretty much, is, to me, it's preparing you for the NFL. You know what I'm saying? In terms of that regard. Because it's the same thing. If you don't play, you don't perform up to standard, you're getting cut. You know what I'm saying? You're released. You know what I'm saying? Out of your contract or whatever you signed. We're moving in another direction. We're going to find your replacement. It's no different than the NFL. By comparing the two, I'm going to say in terms of that, it is. Nonetheless, college football mayhem, man. So fun to watch today. See all these great teams go toe-to-toe. All of these upsets, man. Going to have a major bearing on the college football playoff. I cannot wait to see, like I said in my other video, what's going to happen. I'm going to have full-blown reaction. 8 p.m., obviously, on Tuesday night, man. I can't wait to see how this committee ranks this, where they move up teams, where they move down teams. How much does that close win against Minnesota affect Penn State? Will they stay number four? Does Indiana get completely drop out of the top uh, 12 after they lost, after getting pummeled by Ohio State, who's one of the best teams in the country? I don't care what y'all say. Um, you know, obviously, o Oregon's still undefeated. That's going to be interesting to watch, too. And them two um, going up in a rematch, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be fun to watch. But it's going to be so cool to see what happens on Tuesday night, man. Absolute mayhem in college football today. And you got to love it. You got to love the sport. You got to love the parody that's going on in the sport right now. And like I said in my other video, there's no dominant team. Like, Oregon's looked great. You know what I'm saying? But they've had their games they haven't looked too good. Wisconsin struggling. Uh, or against Wisconsin, they struggled. But it's been absolute mayhem. You know what I'm saying? And I love it, man. Great day in college football. Get ready. Because it's going to be fun.